everyone welcome back to wind and wander it is day three aboard the disney dream we are in stavanger norway today as you can see i am flying solo today because cody is not feeling the greatest and so it is going to be pretty much just me that you're seeing today going around doing the pulpit rock hike and luckily caitlin and jessica did do the lisa fjord lisa fjord don't know how to say it, a uh, cruise. So we did get a little bit of footage, I think for that one. And they'll give their thoughts on that cruise while I'm doing the pulpit rock hike. And after that, we have, don't actually know. I think the golden Mickey's are tonight. So we go into the golden Mickey's and then dinner at animators palette a little bit later on. So we have a ton of fun, adventurous things. I think that we'll be doing today, mostly with the, um, the port excursions but in the meantime it'll be just me so forgive me if it is a little chaotic because i am not used to flying solo missing the other half of one and wander today but it's still gonna be a great day come one and wander with us through stavanger norway here aboard the disney dream all right i made the quickest bacon sandwich ever to now head down to the walt disney theater for the excursion Ooh, so late <laughs> Granted, still have time to make it to the Walt Disney Theater, but just running much later than what I was hoping to be. So, and it is very rainy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, good morning. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, I'm okay, the camera. <laughs> They're going on a hike. They're going on a hike. Yeah, we go. So, we are ready for group number eight. Perfect, you're gonna be following the pattern. So my friends in the back row of number eight rise dramatically. It's raining. Should probably take out the rain jacket. <laughs> take that out right now. <laughs> yep. Woo! It's raining! <laughs> it's raining quite hard! <laughs> oh my goodness. This is gonna be a fun hike. It's only like not even a five minute walk and I'm already like, whoa. <laughs> but we're in Norway. Oh, I wish Cody could be here. <laughs> I made it. Cody unfortunately did not make it, but <laughs> made it off and whew, so much to share. Okay, so we're here at the base of the hike. It is a, you can hike at your own pace or you can go with the guide, we found out. And at the base here, they have, it's actually like way more kind of populated than what I thought it was gonna be. They have a hiker's cafe, they have toilets, a water fill station. So yeah, it's, it's definitely like I was expecting maybe like a little bit more in the like middle of nowhere, but no, you're, you're, you're somewhere. <laughs> it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to go up there. All right, woo, water fountain. Can I bring you stuff? Starting to rain again, but luckily it's not anything crazy. And <laughs> if you get here, the bathrooms are men and women, which confused everyone. <laughs> but there are signs on the doors. Granted, the doors weren't open when, or they were open, so we couldn't see the signs. But fun fact. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an interesting hike. All right, let's do this. So they've got a restaurant and bar behind us as part of the hotel, I think. They have an ice cream bar and then a shop with souvenirs, which of course I forgot to bring a card with me to buy anything. So that's very unfortunate. <laughs> 
I will be taking video and pictures as my memories. <laughs> Let's go, here we go, this is the start of it. You are here, we're going all the way there. The sign is what you're looking for for the start of the trail. And here we go! <laughs> Ah, I'm so excited! <laughs> I will not be running the full trail now. <laughs> this is no joke. Fires are on fire. It starts out real steep. I'm doubting my hiking capabilities here. Even with a rain jacket and rain resistant pants, I am soaked. The good thing is after that first part that was really steep, this has been flat-ish for the most part. So don't let that beginning part fool you. It, is, it does start out very steep, but then it, it gets better. Oh my God. I will say every part of me is soaked except my feet, which honestly, if there's one part I wouldn't want to be soaked, it's my feet. Yeah, yeah. Unlike you. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm walking in puddles. So, uh, some wonder wisdom for you. Wear waterproof hiking shoes if you have them. So my feet are quite comfortable. <laughs> the sounds are so wonderful. Just the rain hitting my rain jacket, hitting the water on the ground, hitting the trees and the leaves. Oh my gosh. It's a wonderful sound. <laughs> oh boy, I have been saying that name, that city name wrong, so wrong this whole time. Stavanger, I believe is how our tour guide said it. So if anyone is from Norway who watches our vlogs, I sincerely apologize for butchering your beautiful city names. <laughs> oh, but now I know. Stavanger. Let's see how wrong I've been saying Ailsund in two days time. <laughs> oh, another trail puppy. Another trail puppy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Three trail puppies now. Woo! Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go.
<laughs> it's a beautiful view. Mom dying. <sighs> what this would look like with sunshine it's still gorgeous even without the, with like the clouds going through but oh my god four trail puppies <laughs> oh my gosh we can see where the trail is taking us it's so high I thought we were dying before Oh, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Six and seven, I think. I'm losing count, but I love the trail puppies. So how far away would you say we are now? Okay. <laughs> are you just saying that to make me feel better? <laughs> okay. See all those people over there? Yeah. Around the corner. Okay. <laughs> Big corner though. Oh no. <laughs> See, you were saying it to make me feel better. <laughs> There's a building up here. What is this? Okay, well, I gotta check it out now. Emergency shelter. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Very smart to have one of these up here. See? Okay, well now I gotta investigate. That's really cool. There's emergency shelter. I'm pretty sure I saw wood in this window right here. Granted, you know, I don't know if it's wood to burn, but it's here. No idea if you could see through the window there, but it looked like there was a stove and wood to burn as an emergency shelter up here. How cool is that? This corner here is where he said the trail ends. <laughs> Granted, he said it's a big corner, but he said just around the bend there is where Pulpit Rock should be. We're so close. I wonder, I don't know what time the cruise was supposed to get here. Oh, like the this. Yeah, yeah, that just kind of. 
10, yeah, but I wonder like, you know, at what point did they get to the bottom? I think they're 90 minutes here, then 90 minutes back. So what time is that? Oh, uh, they may back? have already passed us then. 11.30, that gets them back at two. Some wonder wisdom for you on this hike. Wear shoes with a grip. Oh, another trail puppy. <laughs> Number eight, seven, eight. Cody, I hope you're keeping count. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Cody couldn't make it. I'm so sad. Oh, no. Yeah, he. No, he um, he woke up feeling sick. So yeah, he was supposed to come up, but. Yeah, yeah, so I know. Okay. How was it? Scary. Yeah. Oh no, okay, <laughs> cool. okay. Uh, also. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty foggy, but you're almost there. You're almost Sorry, you can go. Oh, we are? Oh, thank God. I was yes. going to say, how about how much further would you say? Probably like 10 more minutes. Oh, so God. You're almost there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just as long as the bus doesn't leave without us. No, you're good. You're good. There's quite a few Disney people yeah. still out there. So you're good. Okay. All right. It was good seeing right. you. Yeah, you I don't know if I caught any of them because. I got a little distracted saying hi to Lauren and Sean, but saw Lauren and Sean. Oh, hey, I hit 10,000 steps. My watch is buzzing. How am I just now hitting 10,000 steps? Anyway, saw Lauren and Sean on our way up. They said it was scary up there, oh, which will be fun. And then um, it's about 10 more minutes and then we're there. Thank goodness. Yay, I'm so glad we saw them. Granted, we still have many more days to see them again, but I was like, oh, we haven't actually run into Lauren and Sean as much as I thought we were going to so far. So hopefully we run into them again. But if you're watching this, it was great seeing you along the trail. I'm glad you guys made it. I hope I make it. <laughs> Locks. What? 2022. Oh no, these are always so distracting. <laughs> 1994. What? That's cool. That's cool. Oh, this is a new one. 2024. Yeah, yeah. 2022, 2024. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Don't worry, my arm was very extended there. <laughs> That's a far drop. back at 12 no sorry 2 30 need to be back at 2 30 it's 11 30 right now so i think we've got some time to kill up here i think this is the coolest hike ever ever oh my god let's see here oh my god You don't hate me. <laughs> Just a bit of a drop. <laughs> Oh my God, Cody's gonna kill me when he watches this video. <laughs> He's like, don't get close to lunch. <laughs> this excursion, I'm, I'm pretty sure, it said it was supposed to come with some sort of snack pack, some, some sort of food, water bottle, something. I was hoping we'd have it up here. We do not. <laughs> so we might get it at the bottom, we'll see. But it's really cool because Disney has some of the tour guides coming with us to take photos. So we were able to get some really amazing photos asking the uh, Disney crew members who came with us to take photos. So good on them. We got to get his name so we can leave him a really nice comment <laughs> and hopefully a tip once we get cash. <laughs> let, me, let me read this off here. According to this uh, excursion, we received a box lunch containing a sandwich, piece of fruit, bottled water, and chocolate. I'm assuming we will hopefully get that at the end because <laughs> it is nowhere in sight up here. <laughs> They said that we'll they're see. coming up to it. Should we see if we can see them? Oh, they are? That's ah, what they okay, said. okay. Apparently, Caitlin and Jessica are coming up on the their cruise, so let's see if we can maybe see them. Okay, I see a boat. This may be. I'm a wave. And I'm looking. Oh, we already did. <laughs> maybe I'll see, see us waving. Maybe. That might be Jessica and Caitlin. I don't know. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yes, we are. That little rock that's a little bit tilted, that is the platform of Pulpit Rock. <laughs> Can you see us? Here, I think. I think that's them. That is them! Oh, they just texted that's them. Say we're waving from the top. <laughs> see, I'm gonna see if we can get our picture. That's definitely yeah. They're stopping. Here. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's them. They're down there, and we're up here. What timing? And <laughs> say we are literally like right above them. Hello. 
Did I do it correctly? Yay, we have full battery. <laughs> Cody would be so proud. I changed it all by myself. <laughs> Cody is usually the one who is uh, handling all of the electronics. So this was an adventure doing it by myself. <laughs> Every now and then the sun will pop out. Definitely did not put any sunscreen on. Always put sunscreen on. So, uh... <laughs> all right, we spent a good, I don't even know. I feel like we've been here for at the top for a while, so we wanted to give, make sure we gave ourselves two hours to get down the trail. So it's almost 12:30 now, so and we need to be off the bus at 2:30. So we're gonna head down, but definitely was absolutely amazing. Got some great photos, great footage, just a beautiful trail in general, and a happy camper. <laughs> Out what happened to the food the food arrived late and so we were supposed to pick it up so we would have it up here but the food arrived too late for us to have so that's what happened to it <laughs> i think he said we should still be able to pick it up down at the bottom though i've totally lost count of what trail puppy that is but yay trail puppies <laughs> <laughs> Another wander wisdom tidbit for you. 100% recommend hiking boots for this trail. You're gonna need something very grippy, especially if it's been raining. jealous Cody I bet not because you missed pulp the rock but because you missed all the puppies <laughs> for you mister two yellow flowers on the trail that shot was for you It's another trail puppy. I got him kind of late, but he was there. <laughs> another. I keep coming up on them too fast. And missing them. We're almost missing them. I don't need to pee. I don't need to pee. I don't need to pee. I love those puppies. Oh my gosh. Oh, that may have been my favorite uh, trail puppy so far. Missy. <laughs> This is for you, Nancy. <laughs> and there's another jump puppy. There's another one back there. I don't know if you could see him, but there was another one. And I also, I'm pretty sure, missed a, a husky 
because I didn't have my camera going. We made it. We made it. We're at we're at the base camp. Oh my god. I've never been I can't have it, but I've never been so happy to see ice cream. <sighs> Hikers Cafe. Not that we can get anything from there. We are hikers, but we cannot eat from the cafe because we forgot to bring money. So, the base camp here, I actually do rentals of what? I don't know. I assume some sort of hiking equipment, but how cool is that? I gotta see this little cafe. It looks adorable. Oh, that is absolutely adorable and I'm really sad I have no money to get anything but hopefully that gave you a good idea of what you can eat if you come to the hikers cafe spring water and then the previous tip before that one was to use the bathroom before you go on the trail because there are no toilets along the trail just the ones at the start found that out the hard way granted i think we knew that going into it but still kind of found it out the hard way having to pee at the top of pulpit rock <laughs> made it with one minute to spare <laughs> just got dropped off by the bus and we're walking over to the security area right now and I'm seeing hot chocolate in everyone's hands or what I'm assuming is hot chocolate I'm excited <laughs> oh I'll take some thank you here we go let's see that's hot that is hot, right? It is hot. <laughs> but good, I think. Granted, we're so exhausted and hungry and I think anything is yes. going to be good right now. <laughs> it's such a nice touch. Coming back to a warm towel and hot chocolate. As we wait to get them back on board. <sighs> the only thing that would have made it better is if Cody was with me. <laughs> Doing a check to see how it looks and it looks like we're not pulling away quite yet so grabbing Cody some vitamin water and taking it back down Ooh. vitamin water has been dropped off I will say I also ate a very quick late lunch <laughs> and now I'm heading out for some ice cream because I think I have earned it <laughs> oh I don't even know what ice cream number this is gonna be but I don't even care. It's gonna be worth it. Maybe I'll get two. <laughs> With the sun out, it is a very nice day. A lot of people are enjoying the pool. I don't blame them because this is much better weather than what we got in the morning. So nice.
still no horn. Although, I think I heard that because it's too loud. <laughs> and so we probably shouldn't expect it. Which is fair. <laughs> it is pretty loud. <laughs> got some water because I really need to rehydrate after that hike. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna head back down to the room, relax for a bit, shower because I desperately need it, and then probably get ready for the Golden Mickeys because those are tonight. We're probably gonna go or at least Caitlin and I will go because it's her first time seeing them. So we'll see you at the Golden Mickeys. <laughs> I heard it. Where is it? Did I not hear it? I didn't hear it. I thought I heard it. Anyway, super late, but heading down to the Golden Mickeys to attempt to watch the show. I am all showered, relaxed, except now I'm stressed because I hope I'm hoping I make it in time. <laughs> but I had some relaxing time in the room, so that helped. Along with a shower. Oh my god, it was glorious. I did press the button, right? Am I. Apparently I didn't press the button. I'm so confused. I swear the elevators don't like this floor. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna take the stairs, but they are, my legs are dead. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yep, I'm getting off it too. <laughs> All right, we'll get, this is great. This is fine. Oh, we have fun. All right, one up. <laughs> All right, elevators are being real weird tonight. <laughs> elevator reset on us as if it wasn't late enough. Elevator reset on us and went all the way up to the top. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> Golden Mickey! Such a good show. Go see the Golden Mickeys. Just wrapped up dinner at day or night three at Animator's Palette. Turtle Talk with Crush. Didn't do a whole lot of Turtle Talk with Crush tonight like we've normally done in the past because I was so focused on eating after a long day of hiking. <laughs> but that's okay, it was still a lot of fun. Dinner was, I think this has been my favorite dinner thus far. I got the chicken and walnut salad again which I supposedly got last night however it was very different tonight it was so much better like this salad was oh, five out of five paws was so good highly recommend as long as you get the version I got tonight I do not know why it was different because it was supposedly the same thing but if you get this version tonight delicious five out of five then I tried actually the gluten-free version that they do of the black truffle pasta which they use gluten-free penne instead of the actual like pasta truff truffles whatever they're called um so there's no cheese inside the penne but the sauce and the penne is actually really good i would get that again over the black truffle pasta because i'm not the biggest fan which i know it's blasphemy i know but i do love it in the gluten-free penne version so i would give that like a four and a half out of five really enjoyed that then after that for my main I got the lemon thyme marinated chicken breast was delicious I would probably give that a four out of five just because I I just need more seasoning with my chicken but that's usually just an overall thing I wouldn't say that's a Disney thing that's just overall with a problem with chicken but it was still good chicken was really great even if I was just eating it by itself so four out of five there and then for dessert, cookies and cream sundae. Can't go wrong with the cookies and cream sundae. Like you really need to try to mess that up. And it was freaking delicious. Five out of five paws for that one. And I think that is about all I had. Dinner was great. I will say like the service has been a little bit on the slower side. However, I can't blame the servers because we were a surprise to them and we're a party of three gluten-free 
people out of five, so I know they are working their butts off to have us in their party. So it is taking us a little bit of time to finish up dinners, but again, I, I can't fault them for it. So dinners have been overall very great so far. I'm having Alaska flashbacks because it is 1039. It is very bright out. It is even brighter if I rotate this way. 1039. It's Alaska all over again. <laughs> Welcome to Caitlin interview time. We need to come up with a segment for this, but I'm going to ask her how she enjoyed her excursion that she took while I was on the pulpit rock hike. Here we go. So, Caitlin, how did you like your cruise? <laughs> it it was really good. It was the Lysford cruise. Um, it was really nice for multiple reasons. Um, number one, it didn't last too long, so we were able to come back and still have time to like walk around the town for a little bit. Um, number two, it wasn't too choppy, um, so if you get motion sickness, probably going to be okay. Um, there is an indoor section of the boat and an outdoor section of the boat. Um, I stayed outside pretty much the entire time, which for me was more fun. Um, it was a little chilly, but luckily the rain stopped, so it was just cool. It was nice. Uh, the inside section was very warm. There are bathrooms, which is great. Um, the lady who, what do you call it? Who, our guide, that word. Um, she was awesome, so she gave lots of facts about Norway, about Stavang Stavanger? Is that how you say Stavanger? 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 Stavanger, though. My uh, that's, what our, uh, that's what our guy says. Oh, I think she was saying Stavanger. Oh, no. It's okay, it's Stavanger? fine. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she gave lots of facts about uh, Norway and oil and all of the, um, the fish farms and fish preschool. Um, and then you get to stop at a certain point and you get like traditional Norwegian waffles, I guess. Um, and it comes with like sour cream and a jam. But it was also nice and I didn't know this, I wish I had known this ahead of time. You can, I guess, tell them that if you're gluten free or dairy free and then they can make a waffle for you. So I did not get a waffle stick because I didn't know. Um, and then they have coffee and tea and like a very, very small shop. But then you're there for like 30-ish minutes. And um, so while we were there, we saw a seal and then some jellyfish. Um, but it was cool. And then after that, we left and we were able to go over where Pulpit Rock is. You're able to see that. Um, may or may not have seen Cheyenne at the top waving, maybe. <laughs> and. Um, also got really, really close to waterfall, which was cool. Um, oh, and we got to, well, we didn't, but the captain fed these two goats that like live somewhere over there. So that was pretty cool too. We got pretty close to them. Um, so overall it was, it was a really, really enjoyable cruise. Um, I would definitely recommend it and I would probably do it again. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and then obviously you saw everything that I did for the pulpit rock hike. Just wanted to at least give an overall opinion on that excursion. Was absolutely amazing. However, it was incredibly exhausting. Very much more physical than what I expected it to be. I anticipated it to be physical. Maybe not to that extent. So be prepared as you probably saw me struggle throughout the whole video but would still 100% do it again. It was amazing. It was a bucket list hike. The views up there are mind boggling. So if you can, if you think you can do that kind of physical activity and make it up to the top, would 100% recommend it. It was, oh, I'm so happy I did it. And I feel very accomplished. <laughs> hey everyone, it is the end of day three here in Stavanger, Norway. Granted, I do think we've probably left Stavanger by now, but it was so much fun. Best excursion, or at least one of the best and also most exhausting excursions going up to the Pulpit Rock hike. 
and hopefully you had a lot of fun watching those. I know that it is just not the same as, you know, having Cody here. It definitely, it, I need the wander to my wind, but hopefully he's feeling better tomorrow because tomorrow we are going to be in Olden, Norway, visiting obviously the city, but then going on for the excursion, for me at least, I'll be doing the Via Ferrata. Hopefully Cody's able to join if he's feeling better. And then Caitlin is actually gonna be doing the Brickstall Glacier excursion. So we'll hopefully have two excursions to bring to you again tomorrow. Then later on at night, we are going to be doing Palo dinner, which mm, I'm so excited for that chocolate souffle. Can't wait. If you are enjoying these adventures and want to see more of them, then please give us a like and a subscribe. It would greatly help the channel and we would very much appreciate it, but no pressure. We just very much appreciate having you watch our videos to begin with. So thank you so much and we will wind and wander with you again tomorrow. Bye everyone.